Cynthia Watros. You were there all along. <laughs> you didn't give us a chance, did you? <laughs> the Emmy goes to Cynthia Watros got it up. This is Cynthia Watros' first win and first nomination for Outstanding Lead Actress for her role as Annie Dutton Lewis on Guiding Light, a role she began in 1994. told me that I should think of his speech, but I really didn't think I was going to win, so I just, I um, have to, I have to say that I, I want to thank um, the wonderful women who are in my category. Um, they are also wonderfully talented. <laughs> Kim Zimmer, I love you, and I always have and always will. And I have to thank Guiding Light, everybody in my Guiding Light family. I miss you all very much, and... Robert Newman and, and Ron Rames, thank you for putting up with me. I have to take, um, I have to thank my family. Um, Al and uh, Rita, they, they taped all my shows and, and my father who's here and my mom at home and my brother. Thank you very much for this and um, Thank you. clear to me. As clear as my friend, Mr. Vodka, over here. Oh, yeah. Thanks for waiting for me, buddy. You left me. You left me. How could you do that to me? Oh, God. I need a drink.
dear. Perfect. Perfect. One of these little babies in my attic will be his turn. Oh, uh, where? <laughs> Do not drink alcohol if taking this medication. Well, what else do I have to wash this down with? <laughs> you hate me. <laughs> If there is anyone here who has just cause why these two should not be joined in holy matrimony, let them speak now or forever. I know oh. reason. Oh. But, yeah. Sir, sir, you can't do it. Sir, you'll have to leave, sir. Any banks, any banks. You'll have to leave, sir. Teddy, no. No, uh, just do it. Let go of the man. Let go of him. Let him speak. Please, sir, please, please do it now. Please. Right Annie now. Dutton cannot marry Alan Don't Spaulding. Don't listen to this woman. This woman is crazy. Because this man is her husband. Oh. Reverend, please. Please just finish the ceremony. Just do it now. Please. At this point, I don't see how I can. She's lying. She hates me. She'll do anything to keep me from being happy. Oh, Annie, it's the God's truth, and you know it. Listen to the man, Alan. He's Annie's husband, and she's trying to scam you the same way she did him. Annie, tell me none of this is true. Yeah, I do have proof. Here's our marriage license. Take a good look. Wow. And no, we never got a divorce. What are you doing this to me? You broke my heart. You let me believe you were dead. How could I have been so dumb as to love you? That lady was right. Don't let her do to you what she did to me. Just like this man over here is a fake, whoever he is. You can say that to me, Annie? Don't. You speak to me, you low life. You can pretend that you don't know me, that nothing ever happened between us. What are you paying him, Reva? I don't know the amount, but you're sure getting your money's worth. She didn't pay me Ruining one cent. the happiest day of my life. Are you still using that line? You! I don't want to hear one word out of your mouth. That's Do you hear me? That's what you said on our wedding day, Eddie. This is the happiest day of my life. Alan! I cannot listen to How any more of this. How many happiest days have you had, Annie? So far, I count three. How many more? Shut up! Hmm? Do you remember our wedding night? Out on the river on my boat? You said, I knew you better than nobody. Than anybody. That I had loved you more than anybody ever had. Sound familiar, Alan? She said the exact same things to you not five minutes ago. He obviously overheard what I said, period. I wasn't even in the room five minutes ago. Alan. This is a setup. Can't you see that she found some poor excuse for a human being, a loser who needed to make a buck, and she got him oh, to pretend that he was loser my husband? Lied for you, Annie. I stole for you. I took a drug rap for you because you faked your own death. I loved you. I loved you so much. How much more of this garbage do I, I, I have to in listen a to? I cell when they told me you were dead. I blamed myself all these years for driving you to it, and you faked it from day one. Um, 
Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize. Obviously, under the circumstances, uh, the ceremony must be called off. Alan. For the moment, anyway. Alan. Annie. Don't do this. Hang on. Do not let Reva rob us of our dignity. Off my dress. Whether You're going to regret this, Rita, to your dying day, which may be very soon. Annie, oh. you forget about Reba. You're going to have to deal with me first. <laughs> I want to talk to you away from these people. Anything you say, Helen. Just, um... This was the happiest day of my life, and you ruined it. I asked you here in good faith. No, Annie. You asked me here to rub my nose in your survival. You wanted me to know that you would always be there to torment me and my family. That's why you invited me. You think you won? You haven't. You will never beat me, Reva. You will never beat me. Never. Oh, you're not gonna let Reva get away Annie. with this, are you? This is the biggest pack of lies that I have ever Annie, heard. Annie, I think it's time that you told me the truth. I have told you that I, I don't have been... think so, Annie. Are you gonna tell me that marriage license was a forgery? If you do, I can have it traced, you know. And how much of your ex-husband, or should I say, current husband's story is true? If you don't tell me, I'll find out myself. All of it is true. I see. It was a long time ago, a lifetime ago, I was very young and very stupid and desperate and i think i just went a little crazy i wanted it to be behind me and it was the only thing that i could think of to do you know how that feels don't you alan having to end something that's destroying you and not sure how you're going to do it yes i know how that feels i love you I know that's something that you don't want to hear right now, but I love you, and we are so close to having something that is wonderful, something that we have never had before. And Reva wants to destroy that. She wants you to hate me. Don't let her do it, Ellen, please. I am begging you. Please. Don't let Reva Shane win. Dealing drugs, staging your own death, letting your husband serve time for both. Pretty picture, Annie. I wanted to tell you. No, no, I don't think you did. You thought I wouldn't find out. You thought no one would find out. But why? Because you knew that I trusted you. I haven't kept anything else from you. Why should I believe that, Annie? Tell me. What other surprises do you have in don't, store for me? Don't look at me like that. Like what, like you, Annie? I know you love me. I know you love me, and all I have to do is get a quickie divorce, and we can have the wedding that we planned. I know you love me, and that you meant every word of your wedding vows. Yeah, well, that was before certain things came into and life. And I meant Annie. every word of my yeah. wedding vows. You do know me better than anybody else in the world. A hell of a lot better than Josh Lewis ever did. Ah, uh, yes, Josh, the man who got away. Lucky for him, I might add. They're praying that their plan worked, that they have broken us up, Ellie, and to say that you know me better than Eddie Banks, I won't even say it because that's an insult. All he wants is a little money, and I'm sure he will disappear. 
know, and even now, all you think about is covering your own butt. What are you thinking about us? You lied to me. You made me look like a fool. I accepted everything you've done, and you still kept secrets from me. I didn't think it was important. I'll tell you what was important, Annie. What was important was our trust. I thought you loved me as much as I loved I you. I do love you. Oh, no, you don't. You only love yourself, Annie. There's not room for anyone else. No, no, you don't I mean that. I have forgiven you again and again and again because I thought I meant something to you, but I see that I mean nothing. Don't say that. That's Annie. not true. It's over. No. It's over. I don't know you. Annie, I never knew you. Ellen. Ellen. You love me. Love you, Annie. to remain silent. Anything you say may be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. You have the right to refuse counsel. If you cannot afford a lawyer, one will be appointed to you by the court. Do you understand me? I'm sorry, I have to use these. Let's go. Thank you all for coming. 